Welcome to Formosa Dream Chasers. We're your hosts, Mary Ann and Ching En. Please join us as we explore the journeys amazing people take in pursuit of their dreams and get insights from their experiences. Let's hit the road and get started. Thanks everyone for joining our program today. Today is our first, first ever episode. episode of Like Formosa Dream Chasers. So Chingan and I thought that for our first episode, we could talk a little bit about why we wanted to have this type of program, our thoughts about it, and just share where we're coming from for your background. So let's start with the name. Why Formosa and why Dream Chasers? So Chingan. Chinga was actually the one that started that suggested the name Formosa and I really liked it because I know that Formosa as a word it comes from Portuguese meaning beautiful island and I personally find Taiwan to be a really beautiful island not just in terms of nature but also because I find the people here to be really kind as well and I like Taiwan because I also feel that this is a place full of opportunities for the people living here. When I say people, I don't just refer to locals. I mean for anyone living here, both locals and foreigners. Um, I feel that the government has done quite an exceptional job in trying to make things uh, available for everyone. Of course, there's always room for improvement, but overall, I feel that they, I can see the effort. And I also like the play in words because Chingan and I are Taiwanese. So we're both Formosans in a way. And we're also talking to people from all walks of life pursuing their dreams here or elsewhere. So That's those right. are my thoughts. That's right. So you may wonder why we decided to make a program about Taiwanese or Formosan dreams. So I have some thoughts to share, to share with you. Please, go. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, you know, The Economist, the magazine, used to describe Taiwan as the most dangerous place on Earth due to its geopolitical tensions with China. So there still are some concerns about war and conflict for many people here. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think this, is not, uh, this should not be the only way we get to know Taiwan and yeah. its people, right? I agree. So we desperately need a different narrative or different voices mm -hmm. to tell the world that Taiwan and Taiwanese people is more than that, right? Mm -hmm. So if cross drag conflict is all we know about Taiwan, then Taiwanese people in Taiwan would be viewed as living in, you know, hopeless and miserable yeah. situations. That would be such a shame. Yeah. Yeah. So we need we really need more, you know, perspectives. Yes. Uh, so that can be a bias and stereotypical understanding, mm -hmm. or we say a uh, single story of Taiwan. So actually, Taiwanese people have tried a lot to create, to innovate, yes. and contribute their talents to the world. Mm -hmm. So they've prepared not just for war, you know, <laughs> as represented in some international media, yeah. but have dreamed of a better life at the same time. Yes, and actually, Chingen and I find these stories to be very valuable and that's also kind of why we came up with the title dream chasers as chingen said the program is an attempt right yeah, an attempt to, to to bring bring in some of the dreams mm -hmm. uh, happening in taiwan so this program is now is trying to define dreams um, inviting people to define their own dreams yes. on their own terms. Yes. You know, so we want to ask people what comes to mind when we talk about dreams. That's right. It's not only, it's like a cliche, like uh, becoming the next, you know, millionaires. Right. Like Elon Musk or another Bill Gates. That's true. That's true. So I believe this program will provide an opportunity for us to sit down and talk about dreams freely mm. and without some presupposed ideas yes and that's very important yeah th you have certain kind of stereotypical definition of dreams right? yes yeah and preparing for university entrance exams and going to cram schools are the experiences commonly shared by taiwanese people mm -hmm. and it's uh, as we grow up it's very often that we we are discouraged yeah. or not allowed to speak up or, think, or even think about dreams. 
No, that's very true. And yeah. sometimes it's not, and it's, it's not a bad thing, but it's usually from the people that love us the most, yeah, right? Like from, your parents. That's right. Like you have to be very realistic. Yes, they, they. Of course, I can see why the parents would do that because they don't want their children to go through hardship. Yeah. I think every parent wants the best for their children, but sometimes in the process, they also. Unknowingly, or maybe unintentionally, discourage children from pursuing their dreams. Right? Yeah. Mm. Being too protective is not always good. Right? <laughs> exactly. That's right. That's right. And also, um, I think it's bad that our education system mm. has always tried to instill the idea that academic achievement is the only way to define one's value. No. Yeah. I you know, I would totally agree. Yes. You know, some students which are not very good at school schools. Yeah. They may have different talents. That, yeah. Totally. That, that was not allowed. Was not was not like valued by the school system. school system. Yeah. So I believe many people might have dream. Of becoming a president,、mm-hmm. an astronaut, sure, you know, social workers, a nurse, a doctor, a fashion designer, yeah, just to mention a few.、Mm-hmm. So when we are still young,、mm-hmm. it seems there there's no boundaries, you know, there's no limit、mm-hmm. or doctrines to guide our lives. Yeah. So have you ever think about like why those dreams faded away? Exactly. I think when we're young, we're allowed to imagine a、yeah. world of our own choosing, and、mm-hmm. that's why, like you said, you choose different professions. But as we grow up, you know, parents, society, we start to learn like maybe not everything is what we want it to be because there are expectations other people have of us as well. As you mentioned, the dreams slowly fade away, and you start to compromise. Yeah, right, to you, compromise. Yeah. So of course, there are there may be many different reasons, like、mm. for economic reasons, like、yeah. you you have you do not have enough resources to to do something that can be a problem. Yes. Yeah, but I think that should not be how do you say excuse. Oh, ooh. <laughs> not, <laughs> no, not no, excuse, I know. Not I know. the only way to stop you. you yes. Know, from achieving your dreams. That's right. So in this. Program. We、mm-hmm. want to encourage people to talk about their dreams、mm-hmm. in long, in their own terms, in their own definition. Yes. Even if they are small and, and quirky, quirky or yeah. silly, silly, yeah, which It, is different, very different from most of the people. Yeah. We plan to start conversations with small business business owners,、mm-hmm. travelers, social workers,、mm-hmm. policymakers, and even activists, scholars. Or even college students. Yeah. Yeah, and we will get to know how they define their dreams and what they have done to realize those dreams. Yeah, exactly. Because every person's journey in life is different, and I feel that by having this type of program, we can learn from other people. We can get inspired hearing from. People sharing what they are doing to achieve their dreams, because it takes a lot of courage. To pursue one's dream, and Chingan and I feel that this is an amazing opportunity to really sit down and talk and learn from so many people in so many different fields, and we want to share this to as many people as possible to hopefully motivate them in their journey and encourage people as they. You know, work towards their dreams, or even just to get you started to start thinking about it. Because sometimes you also don't know what you want, right? Yeah. You start thinking about, oh, maybe, maybe you can start looking into what other people have done, and then it also challenges you to look into if that is something that you also personally want. Yeah, it's like in Chinese, we have this saying that. You see other story as like the mirror. You can see, reflect. Yeah, that's true. What you want for yourself, and、yeah. also you can see. It's also me personally. I feel it's also really nice to learn from what other people have gone through, so that you yourself don't have to go through all that hardship yourself. Yeah, you, you know? learn from those experiences, and I think experiences are very tricky. Yeah, you know, because your parents tell you to do or not to do something. 
based on their own experience. That's right. But you have to also learn experience. You have to really make the right choice out of those experiences. That's right. Others made. Yeah. Right? Anyway, we need some more. We do not. Uh, we do not only need、uh, your parents' advice. Ah,、uh, right, right, right. You can also uh, uh, make a decision based on others. Right. So you get a lot of、uh, input and feedback from all sorts of people. Mm -hmm. So Chingan, I'd like to ask you: Could you share a little bit about your dream and hopes for this show in particular? I think maybe in the future we'll have a separate program interviewing Chingan on his particular dreams, and he would probably likewise interview me. But for today, let's talk a little bit about our dreams and hopes for the show. So Chingan, to be honest, I used to have this dream of becoming a sociologist. Oh, okay. Because I'm interested in, in observing people and their behavior. This is awesome. This is the perfect platform for you, though. Yeah, <laughs> Then, so yeah. I can. Yeah, <laughs> really. I hope that people can live as they wish. You、mm. know, there are many different lifestyles,、mm -hmm. different different ways of understanding、uh, or how to make sense of the world.、Mm -hmm. I also hope that. There's less conflict and、mm. violence in the world. Right. So I believe you know we will listen to many different stories, and there can be some harsh and painful moments、mm -hmm. in their stories. But I still hope we can have certain luxury, or、yes. we have certain certain space、yes. of imagining, expecting, and making the future that we feel really comfortable.、Mm -hmm. And I hope the program will offer you a compass. To help you find your goals and realize your dreams someday. Yeah, I I really like the word you use, Chingan. The word compass,、mm. and I would like to also echo your sentiment because I personally would also love for our program to encourage people and motivate them. I like the word hope as well because I feel that sometimes when you get too immersed in your reality, you you lose hope. In a better future,、yeah. and so I would like to, like I said, reiterate that I believe Chingan and I have the same dream that this program would would give hope and motivate and encourage people to see where they are and remember that life is a journey, and it's not always a bad journey. You're、right, it's there's always something better, and then that's why we want to talk to all these people in all walks of life because then you can see that maybe things are not as bad as it seems, and you 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 can move forward towards a better future. So to summarize, our program talks about the Taiwanese dreams, and when we talk about the Taiwanese dream, it means that anywhere here in Taiwan or outside who are who who are working on achieving their dreams. Because we, we want listeners to hear stories and aspirations different people have for their future from Taiwan and beyond. Exactly, because Chingen and I are Taiwanese, Taiwanese who are chasing dreamers. Therefore, Taiwan yeah, we are、dream. chasing dream chasers. Yes, that's right. So please remember to tune in to us, Mary Ann and Chingen, as we take this journey together. Are you listening? <laughs> This is the sound of my country. This is the sound of Taiwan. Okay, 
Taiwan, a small island with a whole world of sounds.